we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Scorpio. It's Elle here to do uh, your reading. Let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. Uh, thank you for being here. Um, do like, share, comment, subscribe, all right? And I want to say thank you to those viewing in New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, London, Florida, Atlanta, Philadelphia, and London. That's it, London. Okay, um, I have high viewership there, so hello. How are you guys? Um, and if you want to be around business-minded individuals, join the KMTG uh, waitlist. People took to the monthly conference called like wildfire. So now we have a wait list because we have a lot of people, um, but join the wait list. We're letting people in incrementally. You could get in on that. I think it's going to be great. Um, I know it's going to be great. We've got a lot of uh, beautiful information to share with you. Um, and, and if you're a business owner or you would like to be, I'm pretty sure you have something to offer to the group also. So get in on that. Okay. Be around like-minded individuals. And if you, uh, just want to see where you are in terms of business book your or schedule your discovery call. Okay. Links are below. Let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. What's happening for Scorpio. Okay. Ancestors, Shango and the six of wands. Some of you are trying to revive a relationship. Okay. Um, one where somebody was given a lot of chances you know, over and over again, they were, these are concrete chances to like, to make it work, to do the right thing. Somebody could have squandered each and every chance. Someone took advantage. Uh, yeah, somebody could have squandered each and every chance, took advantage. Now somebody's in the energy of how do I get this person to set their sights on me? How do I get this person back? How do I get them to trust me again? How do I, um, how do I win? You know, how do I win them over? Okay. Um, this could be you Scorpio. It could be another person. Some, this is somebody wanting to incorporate something from the past into right now, something from the past into the present. This is somebody who feels like we can still work on this. We can, um, create something new of this. If we just keep going. We get, we just need to work on it or maintain it or maintain this relationship. Somebody keeps walking away or keeps stopping or there, it's always like a stop and then coming back together, you know, a while later, but it, but it feels like we're starting at scratch. So nothing ever gets to a place of solidity or being, you know, or being, um, foundational. It's just, there is no foundation. It's just like, we always keep starting over. So, so where we get nowhere, it's like, um, if there's a job site and the construction workers, they just keep leaving. They just keep going on break. They just keep leaving and they leave for an extended amount of time. And every time they come back and they're like, wow, we really didn't get anywhere. It's because you keep leaving. 
And it, and so it, this could have been a relationship like that. There's in and out, hot and cold, off and on. Or if it's not leaving, it's always argument. I heard argumentation, okay? Uh, not a word, but uh, someone's argumentative to, to the point where it's like you guys, There, I'm surprised I don't see the five of swords to the point where it, it just, it, it reverses all of the work that you did to move forward. It could be done with a Virgo. Somebody could have gotten success off of you or you bringing them up or um, so this is commercial success. Maybe you're on TV. This is uh, monumental. This is far reaching. This is success, triumph, victory. It's like in order to stay together or make it real or make it, you know, solidify it. We need to do something big together. This is what someone is saying in regards to you. Or this is what you're saying. Like, we need to get married or we need to have a baby or we need to buy a dog or a cat or move in together. Someone is saying that. Like, we need to do something big. We need to, you know, um, if we're going to come back together, if we're going to make it work, that's what we need to do. Because there's always been, um, you know, it's always been easy to leave. There's nothing between us. What is the advice for Scorpio? This could be what you're saying, Scorpio, with somebody else. Okay, the fool card. To be dealing with an Aquarius or Aries or uh, I, I sometimes I get Virgo okay um full card take a leap of faith so leap of faith that's when you don't know what's gonna happen right um this it says beginner's luck step out there just do it whatever happens happens move forward if you feel like this person is for you this job this business this connection is for you then actually do it you may even want to partner with somebody here, maybe in business. You've been doing something for a while, but you haven't seen significant growth. You want to help in business, you know, so that you can be successful. Let's see the, the full card as the advice here. Let something new develop in your life and between someone else. It's so much old, stagnant energy. And maybe that's why it's like, we got to do something big. It's just, we just keep doing the same thing. And we're going to get the same result. Okay, King of Cups, this could be you, Scorpio. This is what you're saying. Or this is um, what someone else is saying. Could be done with a Libra, a male Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. It's, somebody, it's like deep soul clean, cleaning or cleansing or healing. Somebody needs that. Somebody needs to get on the right path. Somebody has nothing to lose, therefore they're going to maybe assert themselves or take that leap of faith because it's like, at this point, I don't have nothing to lose. You know, it is what it is. It, it's going to be or it's not going to be. The outcome is the seven of pentacles and the four of wands. So very nice. Maybe um, you come out of restriction in regards to a relationship that you were in or uh, that you used to be in. Um, the relationship matures or you guys do something different or um, you actually uh, move things forward. The, the time apart was good for somebody's maturation. Somebody needed to grow up. Someone needed to see what they were losing. All the energy, effort, time that they put into the relationship, the business or whatever. And now somebody's going to want to have a reunion. Okay. Because it was um, disharmony or um, it was a disunion, if that's a word. It was not, you guys were not unified. It was um, two people in their respective corners not coming together because there was like no um, seeing the other person's side. There's no humility. There has been no true reconciliation, but somebody says we're gonna have that by way of doing something big and monumental to where we can't just leave each other. Some, okay, somebody got put out of the house because somebody was done. Yep, the Ten of Wands came out with the um, Wheel of Fortune. It could have been all of a sudden, a sudden change, maybe in, um, you know, their surroundings, their appearance, their social circle. Something, something about somebody, you know, being asked to leave, need, needing to move. Somebody asked you to move now. Somebody wants to be under the same roof, under the same union. Uh, or reunion or reunite or come back together. Someone doesn't like being out. Somebody's going to take the leap of faith and maybe and divulge how they really feel. It could be manipulative. It could be real. Um, let's see. What's the King of Cups? 
the king of swords so this could be strategy also this could be somebody here who wanted to be the eternal bachelor act like a bachelor um has high standards but this could be somebody who's using strategy to get what they want to to get the outcome that they want mm. Oh, that's the seven of wands. Somebody put up. So in the outcome, the seven of wands and the four of wands. Somebody's still putting up a fight. Someone just doesn't trust the energy. Somebody is being like proactive in regards to this union, in regards to reunion. Like, I don't know if we should really go as far as we should go. Somebody could be keeping it sex only. You know, you can come hang out. We can have fun and then you can leave. It's boundaries up. It's boundaries within a relationship. Let's see. Yeah. Somebody's more so controlled about, more so concerned about career, affluence, moving forward, getting what they want. Yes, yeah, like you can come, hang out, and then you can leave, you know. Um, but I'm not more, I'm not concerned about this relationship anymore because when I was, you weren't. This is like, you know, a trans pose of the energy now I'm, I'm on the shit that you was on you know um yeah somebody's trying to sell somebody a dream here it could be you Scorpio I don't know it, or someone's trying to do this in regards to you someone's somebody's just like yeah it's done we're done or we can deal with each other in this manner we can be friends with benefits we can hang out but I want you to leave when it's time to leave Somebody got kicked out. Somebody wants back in, back in the relationship, back in the home, back in somebody's heart space. Somebody is, it's not open to that. You only got one cup with well, two cups. The longing to, to create or recreate. And then we've got someone trying to balance out their emotions. We can't deal with the fact that it's over, it's done. It's, it's just somebody fumbled the ball or didn't take care of home or didn't see what was valuable. There could have been cheatation, not a word, but it is a word on both parts. Someone could be older than the other party. Somebody wants to solidify something like you are mine, you know, and um, we need to do that. By way of um, you got to be my girlfriend or my boyfriend we got to move in together we need to have something between us because it's too easy for you to get away the one that got away it's like somebody's trying to implant or impregnate okay something here or it, it could be impregnation it could just be um you know someone's trying to do something foundational it's like okay we bought a dog together so when you try to break up with me I can that would be my excuse well what about the dog and you know uh, or we buy a house together and you can't kick me out, you know, I don't know. It's just like somebody's really trying to move their way back in or come back in. This could be somebody you had a family with. This could be someone at a distance from you. This could be someone that helped you move, in, move into a house or um, helped you get a home or solidify yourself. You've given chance after chance to this relationship, this dynamic. I don't think you're really concerned with it anymore. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Come join the K, the K, T M G, a monthly uh, conference call. Book your uh, complimentary discovery call if the, if you want to know you know um, how to further yourself in business okay um this is what i have for you many blessings to you take care